God blessings everybody. This is the gaming Christian with yet again another playthrough of a certain game called Final Fantasy IV, the remake for the Nintendo DS. Right now we are going to play some Final Fantasy IV, just like Final Fantasy III. I'm going to do. I'm going to play a little bit in the beginning, you know, show you some gameplay here and there, and it will be thrilling. This is a cutscene, but we're going to skip that. Now we're going to cut right to the gameplay. I'm going to start a new game for now. This is more like a starting video about what to expect. There isn't much to be done here, but I'm going to uh, keep on playing. How is everybody doing, by the way? If you have if you have subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, Captain, we're nearly to the subscribe if you want. So we are. You are more than welcome Trouble to subscribe. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. Alright, this is um, a remake of Final Fantasy IV. In, um, for the Nintendo DS. And just like Final Fantasy III, it's now fully 3D. And uh, they follow the story of Final Fantasy IV. Uh, like it was, you know, uh, like it was on the Super Nintendo, on the uh, Super Famicom. Lord Captain, we're the Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? It now has voice acting. But Lord Captain, but the Lord city Captain. has offered no resistance, and still we cut them down. Listen to me. We did no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal. Well, as you, I, just like Final His Fantasy III, I haven't played this as much as Final Fantasy IV. Or um, um, Final Fantasy III. So sorry, sometimes I oh, say Captain. stuff and I, I'm oh, going to lower the volume. The oh dear! All right now we're going to show. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay. Everything is with the upper screen, so playing is a whole lot better. Well, most of the gameplay for the Nintendo DS. Happens at the uh, bottom screen, you know, with the whole, uh, you know, touchscreen uh, functions. Uh, it's just your standard Final Fantasy game. You walk around, you get into random encounters, and you fight. Just like Final Fantasy 3. Although I like Final Fantasy 3 a bit better, but I haven't played them as much, both of them. So I don't know what I'm saying, really. <laughs> but uh, for now, we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay of Final Fantasy 4. Not too much, you know. This is an RPG, it's for the Nintendo DS, and I have to play it like this constantly. And um, at the bottom screen, they show you this result. The bottom screen has, hasn't too much to offer, Everyone exactly. All right. uh, I... All these monsters as of late. Disturbing, is it not? Yeah. I wonder what it bodes. <laughs> a boat. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well then, prepare for landing, men. My lord! It's, uh... Yeah, the voice acting isn't all that fantastically great, but, you know, that, that's okay. I'm so grateful that um, I can hold the Nintendo DS like uh, this now, you know, like uh, filming the upper screen. But, uh, yeah, I might wiggle a little bit, but not as much as I'm using the butter screen. Let me just put the camera more close. Ah, the young lord returns triumphant! You did secure Mercedes crystal, did you not? No voice acting this time, but you know. The crystal is ours, but the Mercedians, they did not raise even even raise a hand in their own defense. Bygone. Also better then, is it not? Only fools were there oppose the almighty will of Baron. Come, we must not keep his magic waiting. But just waiting, sorry, my English is not that great. I, to be fair, I haven't really played the two-dimensional Final Fantasies all that much. Especially because in Europe we didn't receive all those... Um, back in the Super Nintendo day, we didn't receive all those uh, Final Fantasy 2D Final Fantasies. Except part... Uh, let me think, what part did we get? Final Fantasy 1, was it? I don't really know. Before I'm going to say anything that isn't true, I won't say it. But I only played the 3D Final Fantasies for the PlayStation 1. And I'm a huge fan of those three Final Fantasy games that came out for the Final Fan for the PlayStation 1. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. And just like I'm saying, Final Fantasy 7 is my all-time favorite. I've played that game like so much when I was a kid. I haven't played that game in a long time. Maybe I should do it as a playthrough, you know, on this channel. But for now, we're just going to play some Final Fantasy 4 and um, 
little bit, not too much. This is just only just to show you a little bit of gameplay. I have your majesty. But um, maybe I should try. Maybe I should try out these Final Fantasies. But you know, they are RPGs and, and they take a lot of time. And you, need to, you need to train. You know, you need to check things out and stuff like that but the whole training segment of a video game is more than you think and trust me i always want to train big time no i will speak my mind and stuff like that I'm so sorry your majesty yeah i'm going to skip a little bit read it if you want pause the video All right, uh, the story is that Cecil, um, is that Cecil, you know, this uh, guy, he needs to retrieve crystals from certain kingdoms and um, those crystals, um, I don't know, I haven't, I don't really know the story yet, but um, this king who wants those crystals, Cecil is like, okay, how can I do this? I mean, nobody really defends themselves and stuff like that. So the king is like, what you take me for a fool and stuff like that? Then Cain comes in. But I don't really need to tell you guys this. I mean, I haven't played the game, you know, and um, I'm already telling you guys the story while the story is actually right there in front of you. So what am I actually saying? Your Majesty, I have no more words. Take the ring and be gone while my mood is yet fair. Let's go. Okay, jeez. Okay, okay. My heech. Get out of here. Okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna run around for a little bit. Kane, forgive me. I did not mean to draw you into this. Let's do forgive. We'll slay this Eidolon of his and all will be forgotten. You'll be commanding the Red Rings again before you know it. Kane. You must be tired of Mysidia, no? Lead the preparations to me and get yourself some rest. Thank you, Kane. So, here it is. You can actually run around. And, you know, this is like running around. I've already showed you a battle. I'm sorry I'm wiggling way too much, but, you know. Yeah, you know, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is like a remake of Final Fantasy IV, and it's a full 3D remake. You know, just like Final Fantasy III, I really like it. You know, the graphics looks fine. Um, the music sounds great, and it's, you know, it's, it's like Final Fantasy IV, but except 3D. You know, this game might be uh, fun after all. Let me see if I can... Uh, Okay, this is the throne room. Oh, fine. Yeah, what I really want to do is just uh, go out, you know, go to the uh, world map or battle some baddies and stuff like that. Okay, the crystal's not ours. Sleeping on Judy? I would never do such a thing. Nope. Certainly didn't. Maybe if we go outside, then everything will be fine. I know I need to get some... I'm sorry. Dang it. Um, okay, this is the Baron Castle? Let's see. Yeah, it does. That's called a different kind of weather. Okay. Let's go with the stairs and uh, let's see where the stairs... Take me. Oh, this is the White Magic Laboratory. His Majesty seems almost to have regained a bit of his youth in his recent days, but it's most than that. It seems different. Wait a minute, is this going to bite us in the future? Yeah, I think it. it I think it will. <laughs> okay, where can I rest? Okay, no. Maybe I should go up the stairs here. I really want to go outside and, you know, fight some monsters. What's this?
I'm back at the Baron Castle. Okay, I'm kind of lost now. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of lost now. I'm sorry, you guys. This is not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna talk you guys right through it. Going through this door. I'm busy for more than 10 minutes now. 10 minutes. Okay. Well, this is not the way, I think. This will take me to... Cecil. Hello. Rosa, white mage of Baron. Your love interest? I have no idea. Could be. Thank goodness you're all right. The orders for uh, Missidia came so suddenly I've worried. We're fine, small wonder. Considering the flow of mages who did not fight back. Cecil. I'll visit you in your tower later. Ah, now the cutscene's playing. Well, well, look who's home. Oh, that's Sid. Oh, okay, so he's the Sid of this game. And every Final Fantasy, and I don't know since which Final Fantasy, I think this is the first Final Fantasy, who has, like, a Sid, you know? And the Sid is, like, a wise old character that knows a lot. Even the Final Fantasy, he's, he's like, a playing character in Final Fantasy VIII. He's, like, the headmaster of the school where you're in. And in Final Fantasy IX, he plays a professor. Yeah, I think so too. You ordered me to build a new ship, you know, a more maneuverable one with more firepower. What's the thinking? I'm not building these things for him to wage war. Okay, let's just uh, skip this through. I really want to show you some gameplay. I'm already showing you gameplay, but I really want to, um, you know, continue the story a little bit, you know, fight some battles, you know. This is but this is all I'm showing you guys. I mean, uh... Ooh, look at that. Greetings and solutions, sir and I. My name is Nemingway. I travel the world, bestowing new names upon those dissatisfying with the ones he already possesses. But as of late, I find fewer and fewer wishing to take advantage of my remaining services. What do you say? Okay, okay, here is the name creation, I guess. We're gonna keep going, Cecil. Well, you're no fun! Say what? You can't change your name? Well, this is certainly unper... Unpresented? Sorry, my English is not that great. <laughs> it's almost as flawed my existence here, so there's no purpose. Uh, naming way, who cannot change the names? Man's name is no naming way at all. I believe it is time I embarked on a new journey to find my proper place in this world. Well then, until we meet again. Yeah, well, I don't really want to change my name. Why, why would I? <laughs> I mean, Cecil is like the original name of this game, so... Let's get inside. West Tower, second floor. Okay. Ah! Great. I've turned your bed, my lord. They told me you would be departing again on the morrow. Rest well tonight. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. Yes, rest for tonight. Great. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. I'll see you guys in a, in a jump cut. Oh wait, first there is uh, a cutscene. Let's just uh, watch a cutscene and uh, he'll dream about the many horrible things he Your Majesty, what's become of you? Where is the noble knight? The man who took me in as an orphan and 
raised me as his own. The strong, just king I once knew. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? I don't know. King's orders or no. There's no forgiving what we've done. I overheard you thinking to yourself Cecil? and oh Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mesidia and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Yeah, well. <laughs> Did something happen in Mesidia? Mhm. Mm no. It's nothing. It's nothing really. Then why won't you look at me? <laughs> I in Mesidia we we stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Oh, sure there is. Not even in my heart. Oh, sure there is. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. Aw, don't be so hard on yourself. Ooh. Give me a few seconds here. I need to stretch my arms a little bit. Oh, I've played for like uh, more than 70 minutes already. Sorry, this is very unprofessional of me. I need to stretch my arms and just. Uh, yeah. If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't. Okay, are they friends or are they love interests? I mean, in anime, you never know, you know. Don't you worry about a thing. Be careful. Be This story is actually kind of deep for now, you know. Of course, it will be deeper. Of course, the storyline will be great, you know. I think Final Fantasy IV is the first Final Fantasy that actually came to Europe or something. I'm not even all that sure, but, you know. Good morning. Shall we then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. Yes. Let the go into the mist. Well, uh, they need to, you know, they need to make this as dramatic as possible. I can't sing, so I'm not gonna sing further. Let's go! Let's go on a great, grand adventure. Help our king and unravel the mysteries and. We know how this will go, you know, we're gonna unravel the whole mystery behind the king, why the king is doing this and stuff like that. Okay. And so the Dark Knight Cecil, stripped of his command of the Red Wing, set out for the distant valley of mists. Can we skip this? Yes, okay. Together with Cain, commander of the dra Dragoons, he would pursue a faceless quarry and a chance for redemption. Let's get this. The advent of the airship had marked a, realiza a realization of mankind's most ancient dream. But man is a creature seldom sated. I couldn't read the rest. With the unparalleled might of the Red Wings, Baron's military soon reigned supreme. Why then does its king now seek, now seek the crystals? And why have fearsome monsters suddenly begun to overrun this once calm land? Can skip this. The crystals know, they share no answer, only pure and silent night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second blur. There you go. 
I have no idea where to go. There's a little town over here. We will go there later. Finally, I have control. And finally, I can show you some battle gameplay. And then I'm going to stop playing. So we're going to do a couple of battles. Well, down here is, you know, the screen about the HP. I can now attack. And uh, the HP, you know. You see Sissel, you see Kang, their health powers. And their magic power. And this, and this is the bar about your turn. Once this bar is full, it's your turn. So it's very simple. Let's fight for now. Uh, at the bottom left, you see a you know menu about what to do. You can attack them. Come on, ow! Ooh! And there you go. Cool. And down here, oh, it's already a lot. And at the bottom screen, you can actually see the um, outcome. Well, let's do one more battle and then we'll call it quits. Oh dear. Then, then, <laughs> listen, listen to the music. Here. Let's just uh, normally attack and uh, there you go. Blammo, critical, good. Yeah, I played these games like crazy when I was a kid. Ow, oh, a break. Oh, it's a break. Can I use magic? Oh, I can surely use jump and I can be, you know, darkness. And I can use darkness on myself to... It uh, costs me like 10 health power, but I can do, uh, you know, twice the attacking, so... Ow. And I can be uh, double strong, you see? Ooh, that's uh, really powerful. There is Kane. You know, he used to jump attack, and there you go. Let's just uh, play for a little bit longer, you know, I can spare more minutes and stuff like that. Oh, there, it's blurry. Let's go to the village and see what uh, things do. And that's definitely the last part of this game. Now I'm gonna call it quits, and... Uh, hello. Your Lord sees all the Red Wings, and my eyes betray me. You see the Valley of Mint? It lies beyond a cave in the Northwest Mountains. Okay, there's an inn. Let's go into the inn, and... Uh... Well, this is the inn. Of this uh, first little town you come and stumble across. Well, Lord Sifu, I've done no ill, I swear it. My taxes are all paid. Oh, well, people are scared of you? Well, if it isn't her own dark night. No, it's not. He just... He was just in a movie. <laughs> Isn't it? Really? He calls me a dark knight. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Is there, is there any way to... Oh! Cool. You know, the secret stash of these people. I just found a gummish breath. A tent? Woo, a tent or something. Is there... And eye drops. Sorry I uh, took your secret stash. I mean, I'm the dark knight, right? You want me to give you a secret stash, right? And I can sleep for free, right? No, I can sleep free wherever I want. Oh, hello. Are you a bad person? I'm just gonna ignore that. Well, actually I am. Even though people said that I'm not really a bad person. I am a bad person. Let's see if there's stuff in the jars. We have it all! Okay, cool. Yep, we're gonna play for like uh, 20 seconds. Because then we'll have to full 25 minutes. Alright, I'm going to quit uh, play now. We're going to walk a little bit further around town. You finally see the gameplay. You go on the world map. You follow a storyline. You go into cities and defeat monsters and train your levels. I uh, bid everyone a huge god blessing. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I didn't show you as much. Of course, this is an RPG and there's a lot of text. You know, there's a lot of story. Sorry, I had to roam around in the castle, look for my look for my sleeping place, you know, my um, my chambers. And uh, yeah, now I'm walking around town, and I showed you a little bit of uh, you know walking on the world map and stuff like that. I bet everyone a huge god blessing. Sorry for the bad video. I just showed you uh, the castle in the beginning of the game a lot. So thank you. Goodbye. This was Final Fantasy IV for the Nintendo DS.